This is Mystique, which is a 70 foot trad with a thoroughly modern take, um, coupled with a rather magnificent Gardner vintage diesel engine. On the start at the front of the boat, you've got a well deck with Wilson's cratch covers, uh, lockers with cushions as well to provide outside seating. And then it drops down to the saloon. As you can see, there's a television on the corner cupboard here. And this is a rather clever arrangement with a dinette, but one end of it, this end of it, nearest to you, is freestanding, and you can remove the table, spin that round, quite simply, to make an L-shaped seating unit. Onwards into the galley area, you have a set of side hatches opposite the Heritage Range, which is a magnificent arga like affair. Not only does it do the cooking, and uh, it will also provide you with hot water and it runs a central heating system in the boat. Um, that's coupled with a secondary central heating system, a, a, a hot air system, blown system. Galley is very well equipped. You've got a built-in washing machine. Underneath the counter here is a freezer. And next door to that is its neighbour, the fridge. There's a microwave and oven next door as well. This is, by the way, an entirely gas-free boat. Bedroom is in the centre cabin. It's a complete cross bed. It's very easily made up. You'll see a photograph of that in a moment. You've got hanging spaces either side with full height wardrobes. So there's plenty of storage. And all the mattress for the drop down bed and so forth is kept in these cupboards, which are split to make it that much easier to do. And there is a picture of it fully made up. Onward into a walkthrough bathroom. First, we have a basin set into a vanity unit. And you have corner shower quadrant unit with a thermostatic mixer tap. And also a vacuum flush uh, electric macerator WC to a remote tank. Next up is the engine room and here is that rather splendid gardener, fully restored. set of side doors either side of the engine room as you would expect with something like this and it has the traditional speed wheel throttle um, push-pull gear controls. That's the Victron inverter it's a uh, five kilowatt so you're, you're never short of power on this boat and I should also mention that there's a 75 kgf rated electric bow thruster installed too. Um, onward into the back cabin, which is a modern take on the boatman's cabin. It's got the drop-down table, a second cross bed, and in the corner a premier boatman's range, which is a fully functional range as well. So you won't find too many boats with two ranges. I also want to add that in terms of power, there is a domestic battery bank of 16 batteries running a 24-volt system. This is the view from the stern, so this is what the steerer would see as they go along. And there's an external shot from a distance. Uh, for a technical brochure with all the detail, a photo gallery and a layout plan, please do go to the website rugbyboats.co.uk.